Hey there. The next update for Hearts of Iron 4 will give a focus tree to Italy, Ethiopia, and Switzerland. But in this update, there's going to be no communist tree for Switzerland. So today we're playing an overhaul mod for Switzerland that is recently released that adds that tree into Switzerland. Well, not the DLC tree. I I'm sure Paradox would not like that if someone had uh, copied the entire tree and added it into the game. This is just a separate overhaul mod that happens to have a communist tree. We start off with a decent amount of divisions as Switzerland and victory points on nearly every other tile. And some nice snow too, that always adds to the atmosphere, makes things more comfy. And so here is our focus tree. We'll look for the red, which signifies the communist path, of course. We can fight the kings. <laughs> That's a pretty uh, nicely named focus. And it is properly on the left. So we will be doing that as our political path. Some of these economy focuses are really good, so I will rush down and do one of those first. <laughs> For research, mountaineers will be king, and we will want everything to support mountaineers. And I'm not going to spoil myself on the path, but I really hope that we get to, you know, take some alpine stuff and form some interesting alpine commune today. It's inconvenient though, because here we only have aluminum. We don't have steel, so we'll have to buy all of our steel. Ideally not from our neighbors since we might be attacking the, them later on, but we want to have the steel so we can produce stuff because it'll be a long time before we get any steel. I'm sure we have some focuses to maybe get some steel too, or not, <laughs> which is okay. And also I sometimes forget to mention this with mods, but I always try to when I notice, but this mod is in beta, so it's illegal to criticize anything. Also going through the national spirits, we have of course Swiss neutrality, which gives us some political power and relation bonuses, but makes us uh, uninvolved with the rest of the world. Federalism, which is bad. The civility isn't worth all that. And some beautiful emergency powers. I do love emergency powers. And the search feature failed me because we can get steel through this focus right here. So we will go do that. Because that'll give us one free factory. So we will do these focuses here to get seven free factories. Then do this, which will give us one free factory because we won't have to trade one away to China, and then we will do our political branch. I think. I don't think there's anything else really worth doing. Maybe getting the military factories early, but those take 70 days. I don't know. I'll start with the political branch, maybe do a couple of those, and then go over to finish getting the military factories, and then we will be a very powerful Switzerland. I believe we could even beat Italy just because of their terrible leadership, despite them being slightly more powerful once we get those factories. <laughs> we might have a better civ economy than them though, which is hilarious. And the uh, Kingdom of Poland crowned a uh, king, and Germany might be going their monarchist path, so we might have a fun time removing monarchies left and right today as the communist Swiss. So the political mechanics are kind of based around the coalition. There are three um, factions in the coalition right now, but doing this focus will remove two of them, yet add the socialists. And now we can invite the communists, adding the communists and removing the radicals. The radicals may be called the radicals, but they aren't quite as radical as the communists and socialists, apparently. And then we'll get a new political advisor, we can go back and do a few economy focuses, and then continue our amazing communist-socialist neutrality path, maybe. <laughs> or, or we can maybe do something. I don't actually think we have a neutrality path. Maybe the democratic community. I also made an intelligence agency, so we can protect against foreign threats trying to figure out what's going on in our comfy mountains. So now we'll recruit a very cute founding comrade, as he calls himself, a communist revolutionary, and then probably a leftist lawyer, or a, probably the financial expert is better. And so now this focus tree uses a cool design where since we went down this path, we now have to do industrial expansion before we're allowed to do the other side. These aren't mutually exclusive, we just have to do this specifically to unlock the side that we didn't do before. before before I continue building civilian factories, I'm 
going to max out the infrastructure in central Switzerland, then build the remaining civilian factories we can there, and then max out infrastructure in eastern Switzerland, we get more resources, and then we'll build civilian factories faster there too. We'll get an extra research slot, which is good. And we'll do rearmament to get four more military factories, do women's suffrage here to get 10% extra political power gain and increase our stability so it doesn't drop below 65% which will cause problems. It is already below 65% so we have to be very careful. Yeah so we're kind of um chilling, not really doing much. Um, really, really far down our focus tree we can start doing stuff, but this is uh, a good Switzerland simulator, so we'll be prepared. I, I don't even think Germany can declare on us in their monarchist path, and even in their historical path, they rarely will do the decision or the focus to invade our neutral mountains, but we will be prepared. Maybe we can join the Soviet Union once they finish their civil war. And and here we are. We finally have enough stability and communist support that we can proclaim the United Cantons without destabilizing the government. We do not want to be destabilizing the government. I don't know exactly what that'll do, but I don't think that will be good. And since we have so much aluminum, we might as well make plans and just trade for some rubber. <laughs> Eventually maybe even build up our own synthetics just because of how good our industry is. But we can just buy rubber instead of steel and still make plenty of planes without any synthetics. <laughs> Eight factories on fighter ones is Switzerland, who would have guessed? The cross has now been replaced with a star, where the United Cantons, <laughs> led by this guy who's just floating in some cloud, I assume. That's all I can guess. Now we have to decide though, if we purge the socialists or if we form a popular front. We can still form the central democratic European community thing, either way. The United Front is more wholesome, so I'll do that. So now we can do this focus to get 3% more recruitable population, this focus to get 2% more recruitable population, and then we can do this focus to remove Swiss neutrality and fight the kings. <laughs> this is exciting. Either way we go though, we have to remove Swiss neutrality. If there was an option to keep it in the communist path, I would, but you cannot keep it if you continue down the focus tree. And now in addition to the other focuses we did, we'll go to extensive conscription, getting another 2.5%. So now like 7.5% extra recruitable population total. And we were only starting at 2.5%, I believe. So now we will have a considerably large amount of recruitable population. So we should be able to uh, quadruple the amount of divisions we have in the field. And Germany surprisingly went democratic. So there's not many kings to fight. I guess Horthy's a regent with no king. Romania technically has a king, but they're not gonna last long. I guess Yugoslavia is technically under a regent too, for, and there is a king for this region. But yeah, not many kings to fight, so I guess we will just form the um, democratic European community. We could invite Mongolia to our faction. I think I'm going to <laughs> for fun, but I'm not gonna join their war <laughs> until um, the Soviets are about to win. Oh, we could get the Soviet Union itself? <laughs> yeah, I don't know if they're gonna win this though, so that might not be a good idea. And I don't want them to take over the faction, so they're not allowed in. I, as the United Cantons, want to rule this faction, not uh, Stalin. And since Germany went democratic, Austria is now ours for the taking, so we can support the Austrian communists and eventually launch a coup. We only have one agent, so it's not like we can spread the communism to there manually. I guess if we did all the research for our intelligence agency, but I don't really want to do that. So France France has now joined Japan. I would like to invade France, but it's just not really a possibility right now. I could capitulate them with paratroopers, maybe? They still have divided government, I think. Or no, they don't have divided government, so yeah, they're fine now. There's really nothing I can do. So I don't know. I guess we'll just get into Austria and maybe attack Italy. The world tension is high enough that Italy would probably immediately join France and Japan. Okay, so now we have our Austria and communist ally who's like the same color as Italy? I mean, that's kind of funky, but uh, I, I guess it's not 
like extremely cursed. It's only kind of terrible. Oh, and Austria joined Germany's faction. Oh, and then Austria voted to join Germany. That's uh, that's a great um, turn of events. Um, at least we still have our Austria. Well, it's not even a puppet state of us. It's just like its own Austria. They're not gonna capitulate us though. Nah, that's one thing I can guarantee. We're going to be safe from capitulation. This just isn't a very good situation overall. So I guess we'll just sit here in our super defended mountains and let democratic Germany attack into us. What a timeline. I'm not gonna waste my era though. They're not even using Cass and I don't wanna waste it. They're kind of distracted, but the Soviets are gonna capitulate. <laughs> so soon everything will be attacking Switzerland. So things are going good, nothing is bad. They're force attacking, which is stupid for them to do, but very good for us because they will lose a ton. Oh, we had to put all of our mountaineers on this tile though to specifically defend it against them being kind of smart. But with four mountaineers on this tile, that gives us all the advantages we will need. I might even try to make this mountaineer division a bit better too. Put some artillery in it, even though it's bad to change frontline divisions. We're doing such a good job. I don't think it matters. Unfortunately, we are low on trains, so we're going to have to build trains. I wasn't expecting to be running out of those of anything. We'll also need to start buying some oil. It looks like the Netherlands are the only people in the world that we can buy it from, so we will buy it from them. They finally stopped attacking though, which is good. It'll give us some time to build up our entrenchment, which we didn't start with it because I wasn't planning on Austria joining Germany's faction and then being annexed by them. Okay, and while they stop too, I am going to build up a fort on this tile, the one that we were kind of losing. I'll I'll do another focus first though before building up other tiles so that we can get 30% land fort construction speed. And the UK has declared an offensive war on Spain, which I, I don't recall ever seeing that happen before, but I'm sure that's a thing that they can do in vanilla. Here we're just slowly trying to work our way to this nominated general focus so we can get command power and a field marshal and traits and stuff, because without command power you can't really do anything. Thing like that. And Stalin is now gone, so now I have all of the attention. <laughs> well, and Mongolian Tanatuva, but they're isolated and unable to reach us. I guess, and Japan is invading the new Soviet Union, so yeah, Russia will still fall. So I've had to fall back a little bit, but now we're only defending four tiles, so it's pretty sustainable here. And we're slowly building up forts on the tiles when we can. You just can't build forts when a tile is being attacked. So like this city here is never going to get a fort, but with it being urban, it's pretty easy to defend. Our air force has also been outmatched, so we're producing a lot more anti-air now. And I made one of our generals an infantry expert, so we will get him here to get some extra division attack and defense. He's very good, so that will be convenient. These generals are becoming pretty powerful, and it looks like Germany has settled down. They've taken one point, 2 million casualties to us, so it's probably in their best interest to calm down. Their faction has lost 1.67, so they have worse than a 10 to 1 casualty rate. Yeah, that's what happens when you're attacking into a forest, an urban tile, and two mountains. And we're still the only person they're at war with, besides these guys who they can't even reach. Oh, finally, Mussolini has come to our rescue. This is the best day of my life. I knew that M Mussolini would turn things around. This is the most cursed timeline too. I guess Italy is Istanbul. <laughs> they're, they're well on their way to reforming Rome. Italy also can almost controls Moscow. They almost control all three Romes. Anyways, now with France and Italy, I don't think there's any chance of them breaking into us, so I'm going to kind of stop with the forts thing and try to take back my um, steel that they took, because all my steel is in this tile right here. I think I can break into it though. These divisions are probably pretty weak. And we made our first encirclement by taking these two tiles back and encircling these four divisions and one tank too. So pretty nice. We should get a lot of war score from this too, just since we caused them a million casualties. <laughs> this is the worst division of the Soviet Union ever. I'm just not gonna worry about that. That's not our problem. We're just gonna battle plan and take out Germany. Yeah, we've almost taken Munich, though the United States has joined 
joined Germany's faction, so uh, they won't be capitulating for a while. Portugal declared war on us. They didn't join a faction. They, they, they just declared war on us. <laughs> Um, but anyways, US divisions have arrived in Germany, so our chances of pushing are done for now. And we have completed the focus tree too, and have created a really weird world. I, I, I don't I don't even know who I really want to win here, besides of course us beating Germany. Either way, that's it for this episode. If you guys want, I can continue this, but I don't know how much there is for us to do post this. Besides maybe making like some Bavarian German puppets state or just annexing this territory. I, I don't know. Anyways, see you next time.